And we'll ask you as you uh, will be baptized to come up to do everything by faith. No? Why do we baptize? As the word of God. Baptism is an outward sign that you have an inward change of heart. Amen. We do not baptize children. There's no place, no matter what anyone tells you, absolutely not where a child is baptized. We, we baptize believers who have come to faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. Now we dedicate the parents when they bring a baby, we dedicate like Hannah, like Jesus, uh, Joseph and Mary, we, they'll dedicate themselves to raise this baby in the faith, but as far as baptism, uh, we wait till they're a believer and have full knowledge of receiving Jesus. Not accepting, I don't like that word, receiving Jesus, it's relational. Praise You're receiving God. a person you. into your life. Now, technically, yes, but Jesus is still at the right hand of the Father. Yeah. What comes in is the Holy Spirit. Praise the Lord. That's the age we live in. But we can't divide the Trinity, so we have the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit all in us. But we're living in the power and the age of the Holy Spirit. So we ask that uh, the person gives a clear testimony of faith in Jesus Christ. I meet with them, and they have a testimony for Jesus. They'll be willing to uh, do a public uh, baptism, which we're going to do today, and give a testimony. And then uh, there are certain people I selected out of congregation who will who have been waiting on the Lord and will speak a word into their life. And it will go into their baptismal record there that we give to them, okay? And we don't have anyone to pray and speak and so forth. If you, if you feel you have a word uh, to give them for today. So uh, we do not believe in baptismal regeneration. You have to be baptized to be saved. If we do that, then you're saved by works, not baptism. No, you're saved first, and then you follow up with baptism because we follow the example of Jesus, and Jesus came one day to his cousin. Now, John didn't say, here comes cousin Jesus. He said, behold, the Lamb of God that takes away the sins of the world. And even John said, I need to be baptized here. Jesus said, no, do what needs to be done today. So Jesus, who had no sin, was our example to be baptized. We don't, and uh, sometimes health reasons you have to be sprinkled, but we believe in full submersion. The Bible says there was much water in the place, and Jesus, the Son of God, took his place in the middle of the Jordan River. I stood there one day, uh, and he heard a voice from heaven. That was the Father. This is my Son, whom I am all pleased. The Son is set standing in the water, and then as he's baptized, the Holy Spirit in the form of a dove comes um, at the end of Trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. 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 So wouldn't it just be a celebration? Hallelujah. You know? Uh, while, while we're having we're having both a uh, today, a funeral, and a resurrection. Amen. Because when they go down under, they die to themselves. And when they come up, they come up in the power of Jesus. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, I love these times. I love communion. I love baptism. I love to educate children. These are precious times in among our congregation. So we want you to enjoy it with us. There's no children's church today. Everybody gets to sit in the sanctuary. Then afterwards, we have our meal. We hope you'll come and celebrate with us. We're going to celebrate Ron and Tammy. Would you stand? I see Tammy, I see Ron. Uh, uh, Ron and Tammy were ordained into the Christian ministry last week. So we had a special ordination service. Today's baptism. And uh, I wasn't going to tell you this. I shouldn't tell you. Uh, next week, uh, turn your clocks back. I wasn't going to tell you that way you get to church on time. Uh, and, you, and you make up for the last and it came late. <laughs> but don't forget to talk back for next week. Right, right. Amen? So we have uh, Torrin West, we have Eliza, and we've got her name right up all these times, and uh, we have uh, Cody and Katie O'Donnell, and we've got times. Four young people that God's going to call and lay his hands on for further ministry. Amen? Amen. Amen. So if you haven't been baptized, uh, maybe not today, but think about it, pray about it, 
and talk to us about it. Amen? Amen. So uh, let me get up there. And when we, uh, guys, when you give your testimony, somebody will hold the mic because we don't want you to go to heaven right now. <laughs> <laughs> Bill, Bill, Bill used to fill our tub up, and uh, he couldn't do it, so I had to do it yesterday. It takes two and a half hours. And last night I turned on the heater. Oh, you guys got a nice warm one. I didn't have that when I grew up. And uh, all night I didn't sleep because did I turn the water off? You know, I, in my dream I saw uh, the music stand floating. <laughs> I rushed in here and I got it off. So that was all. Praise the Lord. Thanks, Ron. I appreciate that. Totally dedicated. Yeah, it's a uh, slippery. <laughs> let, uh, let me tell you a little history of Torn. Um, just watch the camera. Uh, when I first watching. came a couple of years ago, I just started my third year here, the 1st of October. Um, Torn was sitting over there on the right. I never saw Torn before. Um, he came with uh, Ryan, and um, Torn uh, came from Duncannon, right? Up around Harrisburg. Drove down yeah, here. I was, yeah, I was in Harrisburg. He's gonna, you're going to tell the story. Uh, but just to give you a context. And um, he received the Lord that morning. He told me, he said, you were reading my mail. I said, I wasn't. The Holy Spirit was. Praise the Lord. Um, he gave his heart to the Lord. Uh, forgive me as a pastor. I always, when people do that, I wonder, mm, did it take? <laughs> yeah, did it take? Because sometimes we, they never come back. But Torin came back a year later to bring us up to date. He was growing. And then he just called me about three weeks ago and said, Pastor Ken, are you having a baptism soon? I said, in two weeks. He goes, I knew it. I knew it. And I'll let him tell the rest of the story. Paul Harvey, he'll tell the rest of the story. <laughs> Not drop it. <laughs> I'm not exactly uh, sure what what to say. I had uh, rehearsed this a lot. Just speak um, from your heart. Yeah. Praise Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Give him strength, Lord. Give him strength. Give him strength. Give him strength. Give him strength. I'm not a good cry crier. You gotta bear with me. It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I just saw. Uh, it's words. Words wouldn't do it. The last time I was here, um, funny enough, probably this was probably like three days after the exact same date last year. Um, but. Uh, yeah, it's just, um, I'm back and I just uh, wanted, I just felt in my heart to, to be baptized and um, that's, that's why I'm here. And funny enough, I called Pastor Ken and um, there wasn't actually a date for the baptism just yet. Um, I just knew that, like I just got the word from God that um, to call him and not sure why, just did. And um, I'm here. Oh man, I rehearsed this a thousand times in my head for like the last week, but there's just, uh, it's just blank. There's just really not much to say. Um, it speaks for itself. Praise God. And um, yeah. I think um, if I know the story a little bit, Torin, then you can fill in. Um, when he drove in, to the parking lot, he I sat out in the parking lot crying. He didn't. He's never been at this church. I've been preparing the congregation. I still prepare because we pray out in the parking lot every Amen. Sunday morning. Amen. That Thank people are going to come. They're going to cry in the parking lot. They're going to get out of their our cars and fall on the ground. We'll have to drag. We're going to have to minister out there. Yeah, <laughs> you know, Amen. the Holy Spirit's going to uh, work. He's going to draw them. He's going to bring them. Um, he came in and. Um, um, sat on that side, and when the service was over, I went over. The side was empty. He had his hands in his face, and I talked to him. I think I put my hand on your back. Mm -hmm. You felt that, and uh, <laughs> yeah. led him to the Lord. And um, 
uh, we looked around and there was nobody, nobody was in a sanctuary. Usually we have people staying around, but, you know. And, um, and then he brought us up to date and then he met with Mickey and Nick and I at the restaurant around the clock. And um, I, I, I hope this is okay. I think he said, my girlfriend tried to bath, uh, bath, uh, baptize me in a bathtub, but it didn't take. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you wouldn't have to have a baptismal going on. I go, uh, yes, we're going to baptize the end of the month. I knew it. I heard your name. I should have gave in. So here he is. Praise the Lord. Lord. I said, now, uh, Torin, um <coughs> Uh, for your baptismal certificate, I, I need your legal Christian name. He said, it's Torn <coughs> Joshua West. Nice. I said, hmm, do you know who Joshua was? He goes, not really. Well, he's in the Old Testament. He took over from Moses and led the children of Israel in the Promised Land. And uh, his uh, New Testament name is Yeshua, Jesus. He goes, wow. And then he stopped me. He said, uh, they wouldn't happen to have, uh, his last name's West. He said, they wouldn't happen to ha come into the promised land from the west side. I said, let me think about this. Yeah, they did. Lo and behold, they did. <laughs> came through hope. So God has a special hand Hallelujah. on Joshua West. West. Amen. Already, already. Anything else? <sighs> There's really nothing to say. And you receive Jesus as your Savior and Lord. Yes, I do. And you're ready for this moment. Absolutely. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Uh, wait, wait just a second. I have a wonderful list. We do that after the baptism. Oh, after the baptism. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's ready to go. No problem. Back up a little more and get on your knees. Thank you. Torn. In your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ, you have personally and publicly affect, asked Jesus to come into your life, right? Yes. It is our privilege, and as his representatives, Nick and I, for the church and for the kingdom of God, to baptize you. you ready? In the name of the Father. <laughs> Hallelujah. We do three times. We make sure it takes. Yeah, <laughs> praise the Lord. In the name of the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. Are you ready for this? This is special. Praise God. Hallelujah. And in the name and the power of the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. He will be a witness yes, for you, Lord. Jesus, Lord. Jesus Lord. go Lord. forth Lord. in your name. Yes, we lay our hands on him, Lord, that he will follow through with your baptism, Lord. 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 In the Holy Thank Spirit you, of God, Thank you will begin to take over from this day on, Lord. And there's new, renewed power, renewed strength, yes, and a desire yes, to be a witness Lord. and live for you. Hallelujah. Amen. And all God's people said, Amen. 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 Praise Jesus. When you, I don't know if you know there's three baptisms in my Bible required of you as a Christian. When you came to Christ, Paul says you were baptized into the body of Christ. That's why there's no Lone Ranger Christians. You've got to belong to a body. Secondly, you are water baptized. The third one is, if you never experienced, the baptized of the Holy Spirit. Praise for God. power, anointing, and Hallelujah. witnessing. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Okay. Okay. Uh, we Thurin, have some words for you. Thurin, uh, I really believe that God has his hands on you. Thank you That's why I brought you here in uh, at the upper room. And uh, like you told us that uh, you sat in the car crying. And you didn't know why. Because God that wants you, wants your heart. Praise and, God. And uh, I see your obedience. So I wanted to say this to you. God does give you a heart to how to strengthen the people in their physical body. Praise God. And I believe that now God will also Amen. begin right. to teach you how and uh, empower you Amen. to minister to their spiritual heart you, as well. So 
we release you today. We lose you in the name of Jesus yes, to be a powerful minister to the people, your customers, the people that you get in touch with. Yes. Just to, you're going to be a powerful minister to them. Yes. In the name of Jesus. Amen. In the family of God. Thank you. Amen. 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 Notes got a little wet, <laughs> so hopefully I can read them. Um, it's okay, I know what it is anyway. Um, so Torin, the Lord had given me a vision for you, and I had shared this with you during the, uh, the interview um, at the diner. But you were saying in your testimony, when you were telling us how the Lord kept bringing you like full circle, you were saying, you know, whether it's uh, your job, relationships, um, back at this church, which is, like Pastor said, such a blessing. To, to have you here again, just to Thank see you. that um, that the seed that was planted actually took root, and to see the fruit, it's it's just such an encouragement. It's a blessing to us. And uh, but the Lord had given me a vision of you, of what your life is like. It's I saw like a parking garage, and the ramps. You know how they have a ramp, and it it kind of goes around in circles, like a corkscrew, right? You're going in circles, but you're going up right you go up each time you go around you go up another level and i felt like that's what the picture of was for you you know that you might feel like you're going in circles and we say that like oh, i'm just going in circles i'm not getting anywhere but what the lord is saying to you is each time he is he's taking you uh up another level he's elevating you he's raising you he's maturing you so just um submit to that and he will keep raising you up brother and he gave me two verses for you and they're both from the book of of joshua i know your name is uh, your middle name's joshua and that's that's a powerful name that's a prophetic name and so i knew i knew he wanted to give you some verses um, from that book and these are the two passages that he gave me this is from Joshua the first one's from the beginning of Joshua Joshua 1 8 through 9 the book of the law shall not depart from your mouth but you shall meditate on it day Amen. and night Amen. so that you may be careful to do according to all that is written in it Amen. for then you will make your way prosperous and then you will have good success. Amen. Have I not commanded you, Torrin? Yes. Be strong Amen. and courageous. Amen. Do not be frightened Amen. and do not be dismayed for the Lord, your God, Torrin, is with you wherever you go. Okay, that's for you, brother. And like it was talking about the meditating, meditating on, on, on the word of God and, and not letting it depart from your mouth. Speak it out every day. I know you do, but just continue to do that because it's powerful. And it will bring you that that success and that um, that blessing that he talks about, um, and also to be courageous, you know, because like Pastor was saying, Jesus is our Joshua. He brings us into the promised land. Amen. But when they went into the promised land, they had a battle in front of them too. There was giants. There was the the Canaanites. So Jesus is bringing you into the promised land, but there's still a battle before Amen. you. Right. So don't be afraid, though. Don't be dismayed. Be courageous Amen. because, Amen. you know, whatever comes your way, whether it's, it's Satan, whether it's persecution, whether, whatever trials lay before you, whatever battle lies before you, if you trust in the Lord, he will give you the strength Amen. to do it. Amen. And he, he, will, he will give you that victory. So be, be courageous and be strong. And then the other verse is at the end of Joshua, Joshua 24, 14 through 15. Now, therefore, fear the Lord and serve him in sincerity Amen. and in faithfulness. Amen. Put away the gods that your father served beyond the river and in Egypt and serve the Lord. And if it is evil in your eyes to serve the Lord, choose this day whom you will serve, Amen. whether the gods your fathers served in the region beyond the river or the gods of the Amorites in whose land you dwell. Okay, but I'm going I'm to personalize this for you. Torin. But as for Torin and his house, he will serve the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Okay. Hallelujah. So that's what yes. you're doing today. You're, you're making that decision. Yeah. You're, 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 you're making a public Amen. declaration. Amen. I'm going to follow the Lord today. Amen. But remember, we have to make that decision every day. Hallelujah. Every day we get up, we, 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 we take our cross up and we say this day, me and my house, we are serving the Lord. So Amen. keep doing that. Don't go back to, to the old gods, to the old ways. Just keep serving Jesus. Keep, keep following Jesus, brother. And I know you will. So God Praise bless you, God. brother. We're, we're, we're so happy to, to have this moment with you. Praise, so Praise you're, the Lord. You not only made this Praise decision you. for yourself.
you made this decision for the wife you'll marry and the children you'll have. Amen. As for me and my house, Praise we God. will yes. serve the Lord. I have a word for you during um, the sermon. So listen up, okay? But I'm glad you're exercising. We all need better exercising, don't we? Yes. Yeah. Amen. And he's an exerciser. He, he can God. help you. But Paul says that profits nothing. Little. little. A little. <laughs> Every time. Little. You said that last time, too. Thank you for your question. That profits little. But spiritual exercise, that's what God's going to use you. He's going to bring them in through Thank the physical. Thank You're you, going to have a ministry Thank to you. help them spiritually. Yes. Powerful. 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 Yep, just there. Thank you, yeah. Thank Amen. you Jesus. Thank There's you, no Lord. limit. Don't limit God and don't box him in. Thank you, Lord. He's going to use you for your generation. All four of you that are getting baptized in your 20s. He's Lord. using you for your generation. Amen. That's right. Let's give the Lord a prayer. Yo, uh, make sure he gets a towel when he comes out, okay? All right? He's got him over there. Eliza, you're next. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll baptize you when you receive Jesus. It's not bad. This is uh, Eliza Fink, and Eliza came to us how long ago? Um, Years? I guess in December or January, so yeah. not quite a year, but yeah. And her parents are here, uh, Wendy and Jason, where's Jason, they're right here. And Wendy is our Pennsylvania representative. Hallelujah. Pennsylvania for the house, thank you. And um, Eliza, I want to say something before I baptize you. I, I didn't see this until the class. Eliza signed up for my Monday night class. Naturally, how they live, naturally, supernaturally. And uh, you've been coming here, like you said, that long. But um, I didn't say this to you, but when I went home, you have an inner strength of the Lord. Thank you. That's powerful. Amen. I know you've been, like all of us in our 20s, we go through our <laughs> time, but there was such an inner strength I saw that night, and I, I praised the Lord. I want to encourage you in that. Thank you. You know? Uh, we don't always have to be loud and boisterous like some of us, <laughs> but you have that inner strength of the Lord. And we, we honor your parents for bringing you into that. Amen. Yes. Praise God. Um, do you mind if I say a quick prayer? No. <laughs> Not at all. Before I start. Lord, thank you. Thank you for bringing me to Upper Room. Thank you for Jesus. Amen. Thank you for the gift of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Holy Spirit, you are welcome here. Yes. Please come fill us. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Yes. Please use me as I share my testimony, Lord. Please open their ears and their hearts to witness you and not me. Yes. For your glory, your goodness, your unconditional love. This isn't about me. This is about you, Lord. Um, Lord, please sign your name as author of this story. Thank yeah. you for bringing me here. Thank you for this opportunity. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Yeah. 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 I wrote, but I didn't even read. <laughs> okay. Exodus 20, 12. Honor your father and mother that your days may be long in the land that the Lord your God is giving to you. Dad. <laughs> Mom. Mom. Please Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for planting the Lord's seed in me. I want to honor you for giving me into the Lord's hands. I honor you today as I have dedicated my life to the Lord. Thank you. Deuteronomy 11, 18 to 19. You shall therefore lay up these words of mine in your heart and on your soul, and you shall bind them as a sign on your hand, and they shall be as frontless between your eyes. 
You shall teach them to your children, talking of them when you are sitting in your house, yes, and when you are walking by the way, and when you lie down, yes, and when you rise. Amen. Thank you for being my teachers. Thank you for faithfully obeying and raising me with the knowledge of the Lord. Amen. Amen. Praise yes. <laughs> God. Hallelujah. As a young child, I was afraid of hell, so my parents helped me pray the prayer that got me to feel the joy of being able to tell people that my name was written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Amen. I prayed because I was willing to do whatever it took to keep me out of hell. <laughs> that was the night God let me know. That was the night God let me know that he was with me. Seven years and four days later is when I surrendered my life to him. Growing up, I experienced God in supernatural ways. I could feel his presence and protection. I could see him in all of creation and hear him calling me his own. In 2011, I wrote a suicide note. I was eight years old when I began contemplating death. I didn't understand that this was wrong, and I felt comfort in being in control. As I grew, it progressively got worse and led to several suicide attempts. I heard voices convincing me that this was a good thing. I didn't want to die, but Satan made me believe that I had to. In 2017, I started trying to overdose on opioids. <laughs> so that the torment and pounding in my head would stop. At night, I would sit in the corner of my room with my hands over my ears, telling Satan to leave me alone. But God was in control the whole time. He let me break so that I could learn to fully depend on him. One night, I had the most terrible feeling. Something kept telling me that tonight's the night. Hurry now before they stop you. Before I knew it, I had lost all control and started mutilating myself. I'm so grateful that God prompted my parents to find me in time. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. God was with you too. Yes. Mm -hmm. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. They both did their very best to help me in every way they knew how. I wish I could say this was the part where I let God take over, but it took me a bit longer. August 10th, 2018, I went to a Christian revival camp out with my friend Kimmy. We didn't know anyone there, but thought we'd give it a try. <laughs> that night there was a service hosted um, late night to early morning, like 10 to 2 a.m. ish. All the people gathered to worship and then listened to a sermon. After we finished singing, the pastor came up front and said that the Lord spoke to him. He wants to change the sermon. He said that while he was singing in the back, he experienced a stinging sensation across his arm. He pointed to the exact spot where my scars were. Mm. At first I thought that this darkness followed me around and I was hurting others, but then he continued saying, there's someone here tonight and she really needs help. It's something worth changing the sermon over. I began to experience God's presence just like when I was a little girl. The pastor continued to preach off of Exodus 14:14, 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you and you only need to be still. This was the night I finally gave up on trying to fight my own battles. I let God take my place. A woman came to pray with me, but it wasn't just me. There were many others being moved by the Lord. I finally understood why nothing made me feel complete. I spent years trying to let my friends help me fight these battles, but the Lord is the only one who could come out victoriously. Amen. That night I realized that there is someone good enough, strong enough, and he took my place. Therefore, I don't need to suffer anymore. After the service was over and the fellowship ended, I laid in the tent because it was a camp out, um, and for the first time, it was quiet. Thank you, Lord. Thank no you more Lord. voices. Yes. Thank you, Lord. My mind was still, yes. and I knew that God had won. 
Praise you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Experiencing God is not a once and done kind of thing like I thought. Mm -hmm. I have been growing and learning more about him every day. I still made mistakes after that night. I struggled with bulimia, pride, unforgiveness, and impurity. But every time I drifted from God, he faithfully reminded me how much I need him. Amen. Yes. Amen. That's it. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. That was powerful. Oh, yes, please. <laughs> okay, let me put your back back like this one. This one. Soft. Now. We're going to replace those voices she hears. Amen. Amen. She began to hear clearly the voice of the Lord. Amen. Thank you. He never stops speaking. Amen. He's speaking to you right now. Amen. Just get your receptors, your spiritual ears in order. Amen. You have five physical senses, but you also have five spiritual senses. Your ears of your heart. And that's what, I, when we baptize you the third time, you're going to hear God like you never heard before. Praise the not, Lord. Not audibly, possibly, but you're going to know. Hallelujah. My sheep hear my voice. Amen. 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 Eliza, mm -hmm. you have received Jesus Christ yes, as your sir. personal Savior and Lord, right? Yes. It's upon your profession of faith mm -hmm. in the Lord Jesus Christ that is our privilege to baptize you. You ready? Yeah. In, the name of, in the name of the Father. Yeah. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah, Jesus. He's your father. He loves yes, you. Lord. You yes, never have Lord. to feel abandoned yes. unconditionally. He brought you to this place. In the name of the Son, the Lord Jesus, who died on the cross and took your place on that cross, we baptize you. And when you receive Christ, the Holy Spirit came down. But he wants to come out of you now in yeah. power. Yes. In and you're going to be a powerful young lady for the Lord. Don't pull back. Have that Amen. same courageousness and boldness in the Lord and confidence as we baptize you in, in the name of God, the Holy Spirit, in power. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. We don't know, this might be our sermon today. <laughs> That's okay. It's okay. I think so, yes. Thank you, Lord. Praise you, Jesus. Thank you. Okay, Eliza, the Lord gave me a word for you. Um, Eliza, my daughter, you are beautiful just the way you are. You need not change to resemble the world. I have given you much. Go forth and share with the world around you all that you've been through. A time is coming where you will bloom like never before. Get ready, get ready, get ready. Keep me at the helm. I will give you words to speak. Don't you know that you are my vessel and I will turn you the direction I choose? Remain focused on me and I alone will be your provider. I was that wind, you remember? You felt me. Understand the times. You have been given great authority in the heavenlies. It's not too late. It's never too late. Romans 15, 5 through 7 says, <clears throat> Now may the God who gives perseverance and encouragement grant you to be the same mind with one another according to Christ Jesus, that with one accord you may with one voice, glorify the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ. Wherefore, accept, wherefore, accept just as Christ also accepted us to the glory of God. Do everything that the Lord's going to give you. He's given you great gifts.
Do it to God's glory. Amen. Never take his glory. Amen. Give it to God's glory. Amen. Time is coming where we're going to have to guard our gifts and callings. The enemy has attacked you. And the Lord has given you great things to do. Amen. Okay? So yes. you just know, know it's from the Lord. Always give him the glory. Just like you did in that paper. Just like you did in that paper. Never forget that paper. Thank you gave you. your parents honor. You gave the Lord honor. Always give him the honor. Yes. Hallelujah. You're going to be doing Thank you, Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Mom and Dad, do you have anything you want to say? You're free for free. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I'll just say something real quick. I am so proud of my daughter, and I just want to thank the church because um, I really see a lot of growth in her spiritual walk, um, how she's involved in your local in this church, and I just want to just encourage the body of believers to everyone that gets baptized just remember this moment because Praise these God. are young people Praise and they are going to experience all kinds of temptation and sin and just let them know that um, the power of God may be with them and that you know we as parents and body of believers can just hold them accountable and um, pray for them so amen. just thank you for the thank church you. thank you Praise the Lord. Amen. that we've seen in you over this past year is, is encouraging to me. You have been such a blessing to us. And I just thank God for you every day. I'm just praying for you. I love you so much. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Anyone else? Okay. That's oh, right. no. Oh, yeah. she has so does Judy. Oh, you have some. You have some. Okay. okay. <laughs> we got more words. Don't show us the Holy Spirit. I have a couple of scriptures. Yes. This one's Matthew chapter six, <laughs> verses thirty-one okay, to thirty-four. This way, the camera's Talk up a little. Talk up a little louder. Okay. <laughs> Therefore, do not worry, saying, "What shall we eat, or what shall we drink, or what shall we wear, or any other question you can think of." For after all these things the Gentiles seek. For your heavenly Father knows you need all these things. But seek first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added to you. Therefore do not worry about tomorrow or the next day, for tomorrow will worry about its own things, sufficient for this day, is its own trouble. We don't need to get out of today. We have enough stuff to deal with in one today. The other scripture, 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 9, God is faithful, Amen. by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. But this word is definitely from you, for you, given what you said and what everybody else said. So, tough, I'm reading it. <laughs> um, Eliza, you're being baptized on October 29th, which will now always have a special meaning for you. Looking at a few verses of 1029, there's a clear message that God has for you, and he will not let you fall. You may fail sometimes, but you will not fall because you are putting your trust in God. You are committing to live your life for for and with Jesus. Matthew 10, 29. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny, and not one of them will fall to the ground apart from your father? In the days when Jesus walked the earth, the sparrows were what the poor ate, and God made sure that they were taken care of, even though in the world they were worth a penny. Always know your value, Eliza. John 10, 29. My father, who has given them to me, is greater than all. No one can snatch them out of my father's hand. You belong to God through Jesus. Acts 10.29 So when I was sent for, I came without raising any objection. May I ask why you sent for me? Eliza, God has sent for you. You came running right now without question. And when he tells you the things he wants, listen and continue to be obedient. He has been calling you to pray and intercede for others. Those voices are replaced now with the Holy Spirit. God is giving you wisdom. So take time to pray and journal and make sure your responses are because God has shown you what to do or say. 
rather than give reactions from your flesh. Always ask God, why did you send me here? Ask him what he wants you to do. Say yes and amen. Be in awe of how he speaks and moves in you and through you to others. You're young and called to lead your generation back to God. Praise God. The Hebrew meaning of your name is God of satisfaction, joyful. You bring joy to others. Praise yes. God. God created you, and he was very satisfied with the beauty of your soul and spirit. Eliza comes from the name Elizabeth, who is the mother of John the Baptist. She carried the one who cried out in the wilderness. And I believe God is giving you your voice. God is calling you to replace, I'm okay, with I'm more than enough. Praise God. You are a daughter of the Most High God. You are a servant of Jesus. Your life will continue to show the joy of the Lord and the satisfaction of God as you call others to him. Your birthday is 9-11. God brought you into the world to be part of his light, to take back that date. Genesis 9-11, now behold, I myself do establish my covenant with you with, and with your descendants after you. As you, are being, as you were being submerged in the water, dying to your flesh and being renewed with Jesus, you are renewing your covenant with God and now living for him. You will raise a family and God will be pleased, well satisfied. Psalms 9, 9, 11. The Lord is a refuge for the oppressed, a stronghold in times of trouble. Those who know your name trust in you, for you, Lord, have never forsaken those who seek you. Praise Sing the praises of the Lord, enthroned in Zion. Proclaim among the nations that he has done what he has done. Eliza, always sing praises to God, especially in times when you feel overwhelmed and down. He will lift your spirits and give you his true perspective. Almost done. Proverbs 9-11. For through wisdom your days will be many, and years will be added to your life. God is speaking. <coughs> Keep your spirit teachable to hear God. Seek his face always and hold the hand of Jesus every step you take. John 9-11. He answered. The man called Jesus made mud and anointed my eyes and said to me, Go to Shalom and wash. So I went and washed and received my sight. Let the eyes of your heart remain steady on Jesus. Do not trust your ways of thinking, but seek him with all your heart. Let Jesus cover your eyes with mud, cleanse you, and allow you to help you see in the spirit. 2 Corinthians 9-11, you will be enriched in every way to be generous in every way, which to us will produce thanksgiving to God. Everyone around you feels that when you were with us over the, the retreat, what Judy says, you are a blessing. It is so true. Eliza, you are a blessing to others. Your presence blesses those around you. Remember the word this word is for you. You are enough. His grace is sufficient, and because of that, you are worthy. When you feel you are not, remind yourself you were bought at a price, a high price by the blood of Jesus, and you are royalty. You are more than enough. I think he wants you to hear that always. May God bless you, Eliza, and shine his face on you, that his blessings will shine through your life and your beautiful heart. And we love you so much. Amen. Amen. Just to let you know, uh, I, I think we're all uh, Protestants here. This is also Re Reformation Sunday, when Luther yeah. felt he needed renewal from the church. And we're having renewal today. Amen. Praise, amen. The Lord. Praise the Lord. At least I thought I'd get an amen from ex-Lutherans. <laughs> amen! <laughs> okay. Um, Eliza, praise the Lord. We want to pray over you. Can you hold this? Yep. <laughs> Fill her with your spirit, God. Let it overflow. Let it overflow, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for it. Stand strong. Be courageous. You are a leader for your generation. God has given you that title. You follow in it. You learn. You get skilled in it. You have been chosen for this, a time as such as this. Yes. You are an Esther for your own generation. <coughs> Accept a role. And don't fear anyone except God. In Jesus' name, amen. 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 I might need another dip. She needs another dip. I think she's an intercessor. I think she needs another dip. <laughs> That's okay. All right, Cody's next. And uh, Cody and... Um, you have this right yep, you can stay up. You can stay up. Okay. Yep. All right. Come on, Cody. This is Katie O'Donnell. I just married them in September. And uh, 
I always like these young people when they call me, they go, uh, will you marry me? I said, I don't know, let me ask Wanda. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, it was good to uh, do the ceremony uh, on Labor Day and um, um, I was um, going to meet with him about something else and on the way the Lord said, ask him if they've been baptized. So I started with Cody and he said, I have. And I said to Katie, and she goes, no, we were thinking about the bathtub. I go, what is it about the bathtub? <laughs> and I said, we're going to have a baptismal <laughs> service. So uh, she agreed to. Oh, my. Um, I've been thinking about being baptized for a while now. And like Pastor Ken said, we had talked about doing it in the bathtub or our new house. Um, and we just didn't get the chance to yet. Um, but I, I grew up in a house where we went to church when I was younger. Um, life got in the way and we started sports and so we stopped going to church. Our family kind of all went to the same church and we stopped all going to the same church. So my family decided we had sports, we had school. Um, in high school, I, um, my parents don't know this, so I'm sorry to tell you, Briar. Um, Over Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I had been forced to, um, fall to sexual sin. I didn't tell anybody for a while. And then I told my best friend at the time, and I played so hard. Um, I didn't tell my family because I was afraid of the rejection. I was afraid of how everybody would look at me. And then I lost my great-grandfather. And that weighed so hard because we had spent every summer down there and he was such a big influence on my life. And I put everything into sports. I, that is all I did. I did sports in school and I filled my time with that because I felt there like I was accepted and I, I prospered. I mean, we spent so much time. And then I got accepted to go to LBC, so Lancaster Bible College, to play sports. Um, my sports took me somewhere that changed my life. I, my freshman year there, I got put in a, a tiny room with two other girls, and man, that was hard. <laughs> um, we faced a lot together, the three of us, and... It was a closet. <laughs> <laughs> it was tiny. Uh, we had two bunk beds and a bed, a third bed and three desks, and that was it. Um, we, we faced a lot that year. Uh, we faced a lot of trials together, and with being in such a small room, it pushed some other trials, but we got through it, and ultimately, in the end, I um, met my my best friend and she couldn't be here today but Hannah changed my life um Jesus filled that void yeah you filled that void in your life and your parents accept you don't you yes. more so now than ever Please don't God. ever let uh, something bad to confess it the first place you ought to go to is your brothers and sisters we love you no matter what there's nothing you can tell us that won't be accepted. That's why we want to be a grace church here. Amen. Grace. We all blew it, right? Amen. I mean, all made Jesus. Me more so. So you received Jesus and um, got married to a fine young man, Christian man, and everything's going good. And it's going to get better. Because of this day, because you're doing obedience to the Lord. Amen. Amen. So, you, Cody, your husband's going to help baptize you. Praise and then God. we're going to baptize you in your marriage. Okay? okay. All right? So, yeah. just put your back no toward here. Get on your Katie. 
you, you received Jesus Christ into your life as your Savior and Lord, correct? Yes. Upon your profession of faith in the Lord Jesus Christ as your Savior. Um, I'm so happy, along with your husband, this is a sacred moment to baptize you in the name of the Father. Who loves you? Who will never abandon you? In the name of the Son, the Lord Jesus, who died on the cross just for you and washed your sins away like this water. You're going down as the old Katie. You're coming up in your life. We baptize you in the name of God, the Son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And the Holy Spirit who is in you. Now let him come out through you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm praying. Yeah, we're going to baptize you in the power and the anointing of God the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Do you have a word? Yes, okay. okay. Ellie has a word for you, Katie. Katie, the Lord wants you to know that your spiritual weapons are mighty through him. As you dress in your attire for your job, know that your attire is incomplete without your spiritual armor. It provides protection, spirit, mind, and body. Amen. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read those couple of scriptures here because it's really important that you know what your armor is. I have it marked and now it fell apart. Ephesians. Ephesians chapter 6, and I'm going to start with verse 10. Finally, brethren, Katie, be strong in the Lord, Amen. and Cody, be strong in the Lord, and in the power of his might. Amen. Put on the whole armor of God, that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, right. Right. against powers, Amen. against the rulers of right. darkness in this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Amen. And now your feet are shod with the, right, with the preparation of the gospel of peace, Above all, taking the shield of faith, where which you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the Spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the Spirit, and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all the saints. Amen. So this declaration, this what you did today, it's not just for you. As a couple, you're going to minister to others. And we are recipients of that. Amen. He said, pray for the saints. Amen. You know, you can pray in the name of Jesus for all of us as we will pray for you. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. Amen. Okay. Now we're going to baptize both of you for your Praise marriage. Praise God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. <laughs> when I marry, uh, do you have I a marry word? someone, do you have a word for Kate, uh, they agree uh, after we do 8 to 12 weeks of counseling, I will visit you the first month you're married, the third month the sixth month, the ninth month, and the twelfth month, just to see how things are going for you. So we've had our first month uh, where I checked up on them. Somebody has something? Yes, okay, yeah. okay, sure. Yes, Pierce. So I actually felt uh, the Spirit just giving me a word for all of the people being baptized today. Um, and it was just two words. The first one was child, you said three times. Mm. Just he's reassuring you that you're all his child. Um, and to be comforted in, in that in this time. Um, and then the next one was joy. And it was like, yes. joy, joy, joy down in my heart. God is saying, like, be excited. You yes. are my child. Amen. And that, that's just, that's what I had for you. For Amen. the baptisms, I have a, one for after. For the this is Jamie's well. son. Uh, <laughs> and for his best friend. <laughs> <laughs> And best friend. Yeah. Have you heard this in Sandy School? I've got the joy, 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 joy down, down in my heart. heart. Where? Down in my heart. Where? Down in my heart. I've got the joy, 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 joy down in my heart. 
down in my heart to say. And how do you spell joy, O-Y-J? No. Y-O-J? J-O-Y. Jesus first, others second, yourself last. Hallelujah. That's the only way you can have joy. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. So I'm going to baptize him in their marriage, okay? Okay. All right. I don't know how we're going to do this, but I'm going to do it. <laughs> you know what? Why don't you each get on the inside of me? Don't pull me under. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Nicholas. You can help us. Yeah. Okay. Uh, what do you want me to do? Uh, tell me to you get out the through. back here. Get out okay. the back. Okay. Okay. Praise the Lord. <laughs> we never did this before. So. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Uh, hey, we're open to the Holy Spirit. We don't box the Holy Spirit in. Amen. All right, Hallelujah. You ready? I can't. <laughs> this is uh, that God called you. Uh, you made the most important decision you ever made when you received Jesus as your Savior. The second most important decision you ever made is who am I going to marry? Amen. And you are a team. You are one now. Yes. You've Praise served the Lord. Lord. Yes. Hallelujah. And you've gone through trials and tribulation like all of us. But God's going to see you through. Thank you're going you, you're going to out of this Thank the ministry you, is Thank coming you, birthing Plans. forth Praise for, for both Righteous. of you guys. You don't have to worry. Up, so God will put it together. To it, Amen. 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 Uh, on that profession of faith, that God's going to see you through all of this and give you a great ministry. Praise God. Uh, as a married couple, we baptize you in the name of the Father. Okay. Do not push off. <laughs> in the name of the Son, the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. For this uh, great uh, marriage and helping others, you're going to need the power. The power. The Hallelujah. We baptize you in the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Yeah. Yeah. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. I think Nick has a word, right? Oh, no, I have a Okay, yeah. Harris has a word. <laughs> So I, I wrote this prayer for you guys uh, shortly before you got married, and um, then when I went to pray it over Cody, God took over, and it was a completely different prayer I had for him that day. So th this one was saved, and I think today is, is what this prayer is meant for, but it's for both of you. God, I pray that you take Cody by the hand, that you guide him like a little boy, mm -hmm. and Katie like a little girl. Father, I ask that you take away his fear, that you are with him and fill him up every day of his marriage yeah. for it is the start of a new life yes. day forth. for Katie and Cody are one under God yes. and this is a proclamation to the start God I ask that you be the head of the head the king of this king on earth that you guide him and teach him that you use him for love and all the purposes that love has in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. As we wrap this up, God, oh, I want to say to all the ones who were baptized, where's Torin? Okay, Torin and uh, Eliza, you, according to the Bible, are the head and not the tail. Amen. Tail follows, the head leads. Amen. You lead. Praise God. Be courageous. I don't care what people say. They didn't call you, God called you. That's right. And Thank you me. lead for the Lord. Amen. Right. Amen. Yes, Lord. Okay. All right. Okay. Hey, Cody and Katie, um, I have this word for you guys. <coughs> Hebrews 10, 35 to 36. Um, Therefore, do not throw away your confidence, which has a great reward, for you have need of endurance. So that when you have done the will of God, you may receive what is promised. Amen. The Lord is with you as a helper. He's your very present help in trouble. Amen. So don't allow your hope or confidence to be shaken. He has promised to walk with you and never forsake you. Amen. His joy will be your strength. So trust him. Endure the trials and tests that come. He is building your spiritual muscle through them. Amen. Pursue righteousness and purity of heart. And the Lord will make your light shine bright as the sun. He's watching over your marriage to bless it. Thank you, Lord. He wants to use it as a means of drawing others 
to himself. I really felt like he wanted to make you an example to others. And I kept feeling like there are people who have walked the road, that are walked in the road that you've walked. And he wants to take you to those places. Mm, and through God. your marriage, through your, what he's doing in your life as a couple, he's going to use that to bring mm. others to himself. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Be strong in the Lord and in his mighty power. It's a confirmed God. message. Amen. Praise God. Do not grow weary doing good because you will reap the reward of due season if you do not give up. Your confidence in the Lord has a great reward. Hold on tight to it. The Lord's presence is with you to encourage and spur you on. So keep pursuing the Lord passionately and relentlessly until every promise he has spoken over you is fulfilled. Amen. Amen. May God's peace rest on you both. Amen. Praise, Praise the Lord. The Lord. Amen. Let's pray. We, he has they will not fight one another, but they will fight the real Peace, 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 Jesus. They gather. Two people are strong. Shalom, shalom. Jesus. Shalom, peace on your marriage, on their lives, and on ministry you're calling them to. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Okay. So this is for a word for everyone that was baptized here today. The theme was the youth. I know everyone here is in their 20s or almost 20. Or like the people I'm talking about. Yeah, they're 20? They're all 20? Oh. Wherever, either way. It sucks being young in this world. <laughs> I'm serious. I mean, the devil tries to take you out in every chance he got. So a verse that came to my mind is from 1 Timothy 4, 12. Let no one despise you for your youth, but set the believers an example in yes. speech, in conduct, in love, in faith, and in purity. And that's something I feel that as Christians, it's hard to develop this data. So just remember for those of you that got baptized here today, Remember that, that you represent a bigger body. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Let's give him the word. Pray. Hallelujah. Okay. Make sure you, okay, you may go back to your seat. Uh, we got plenty more to do. Okay. Uh, anyone that has a word for each one of them, make sure you give it to them. They can put it in their pocket. Okay. Make sure we got the spelling right. <laughs> Aren't you proud of me? I got a license. <laughs> I also placed in there um, for you to work with other people and that, and that tell them and tell you, and you can pick one up today. We, um, when I got saved, you kind of left. You go Sunday morning, you go Sunday night, you go Wednesday night, you keep your mouth shut, you don't ask any questions. And I thought, when I become a pastor, I'm going to do something about discipleship and answer people's questions. So at this church, we have an ongoing basics in the foundation class. And some of those lessons are in there, for you, not only for you, but for you to, to work with somebody else. Remember, what is it, Joe? The missionary church? We make disciples who make disciples who make disciples who make disciples. And so if you'd like to be in that class, we're on the, on the first lesson, 9 o'clock, right across from the sanctuary. We'd love to have you join us. Some people have been Christians for years and took the class and said it renewed their faith. So uh, uh, feel free to come back. Uh, give these guys a hand. You can take your seat. You. We're ready to eat. Well, I'll preach you next week. I uh, you did the preaching for me today. So notice what uh, Naylor read, and I asked him, I said, Naylor, read you, when you read this, emphasize it. By faith, they were able to accomplish this. And if you read that chapter, 
I did this this morning, like right? six o'clock this morning when I was reading it, and I took a red ink pen and I circled all the by faith. And it said they accomplished it through faith. Not only by faith, through faith. And here's the point. They all died in faith. They never lost their faith. They died in faith. And they never got to see what was promised them. But they held on to faith. Faith is a substance. Of, substance. Substance. You've got to have substance. Faith is a substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. So that's what we'll look to. Uh, come on, praise team. Uh, we're going to finish on the song, and then we're going to go eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> right? Aren't you? Yeah. yeah. So uh, our guests, uh, we have a little gift for you, and you go first in line, okay? When you get in the back of the fellowship hall, we're having soup, sandwiches, and whatever else, okay? Uh, I want a piece of my wife's cake. She never made a whoopie pie for, so I'm going to make save me a piece, okay? Yes. Praise the Lord. So read chapter 12 for next week, and uh, we're going to go, I'm going to take you a walk down the hall of faith. Praise God. You did good teaching today. Wasn't it a good day today? Yeah. Who yeah. said church was boring? This was great. Praise the Lord. So let's stand. And we'll close on my favorite. These are the days of Elijah.
Oh, yeah. 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 Oh,